All right, what is up guys? It's Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K and my good buddy Dotto who's naked back in the garage for another episode. Today is gonna to be really, really exciting because this month we're gonna start getting really custom on this bad boy right here. Starting with the handlebars, we're gonna be completely redoing the handlebar setup. And when I say completely redoing, I mean almost that entire box right there is filled with handlebar parts. So I hope you're ready for this one, Dotto. Shout out to Manny from Moto Million for getting us all these amazing parts. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. So the beautiful Christina K is gracing us with her presence here today. If you guys want to check out anything that this beautiful woman does, I'll have links to her uh, description, her uh, social media is in the description below. Actually, all of Dotto's are linked in the description below as well. Um, Onlyfans.com. Oh God, with the black bar. So this right here is a Rizoma handlebar replacement. Um, I believe it's in aluminum, but I'm not sure. Dotto will probably verify that. Looks Look how cool that is. So uh, I don't know why. There's two things I don't like about this bike from the factory. Three things. And two of them involve the handlebars. One, it comes with a silver handlebar, which doesn't make any sense to me. Two, it does not have a steering stabilizer, which we're going to fix. And three, this is gray when the rest of the bike is black. So I don't really understand that. Look at him. The bull has Balancer. arrived. So, so drop yeah. it. it is aluminum, by the yeah. way. Yeah, it is aluminum? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that was almost exactly the same as the stock setup. We thought about doing that like upside down and like different things like that. Yes. Oh, nice. So you can set the amount of degrees. That's that really cool. Set. Yeah, so. it still hasn't it still hasn't focused, but we'll okay. have to take your word for it. There we go. See that? That's really cool. Okay, so handlebars, that's gonna be an important one. And then what else do we got here, teens? Clamp. Look yeah, nice new clamp. clamp Look how nice that is. Monster all clamp. Parts. We got I mean, grips. I love that this is the gray grips. Look instead how cool of that is. the red. It's and those are match so comfortable. When the uh, when you uh, are ripping it. Rip, no. Oh, when we do the tank. When you do the tank. Yeah. Hey, it's I just match very What's up? Are they, are they shorter? Um, they actually point back. Oh, do they? Yeah. Is that good? Look, is that a good thing? Actually, I believe it is. Well, imagine you can rotate it if you want it to do. Well, rotating is one thing, but if you stand right here, you can It won't change that? Right, so this is actually Oh, I see what you're saying. This way. Yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Okay, that'll be interesting yeah. to see. I say upside down, man, check this it out. It would look ah. incredible, and to be honest, it would put more weight on that front wheel, too. Look, that. look how low that it is. It would, no, that's way too You'd low. You'd never be able to turn it. No, uh-uh. So, anyway, that's the handlebar. All of this stuff is getting replaced, so check this out. Black lever, look at this. Dotto, yeah. Oh. Our briefcase, Brief yeah. Look at this. It looks like a pistol case. So we've got lever protection for both sides, Ooh. which is pretty badass. That looks really yep. cool. Um, this is for the steering stabilizer here. We've got the um, reservoir. So, okay, these are reservoirs we've never done before. They don't oh, take tubing, Dotto. Never done. They go straight into the master cylinders. Yeah. Yeah, they're badass. Uh-huh. We're going to be learning. Okay, pull out the master cylinders, yeah. Because we got Brembo RCS Masters oh, for the brake and clutch. Okay. I need a shirt. Oh, actually, here, show them this. Check this out. Black line, Olin's steering damper. I guess damper. you could have held it. <laughs> I think oh, that's, yeah, that's true. the one thing I'm really excited about. I know. And... I actually, someone messaged me, I think it was a patron, said even though the front end is really light, the steering stabilizer does make a big difference. That's what I was yeah. saying. The steering stabilizer is going to make it amazing. Yeah. It's going to be like a world of difference, not just from from turning standpoint, but like when that when the, stands up. Yeah, because when it comes up on me, it shakes immediately, and that's yeah. what freaks me out. Okay, so yeah, we got an RCS 16 for the clutch. Look at that bad boy. Holy yeah, shit. dude. And then... That's really badass. Oh, dude, it's going to be so freaking awesome. And it's going to... Look how nice it matches everything. And they're like... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but they're called like breakaways. They are. And he actually has, I think, different levers he even sends along with these as well. I'm not sure uh, if we're going to use those or not. Sometimes he sends us TWM leathers. I know. Isn't that ridiculous? You want to grab the other one in there? All right. Is this the brake side? Yeah, the other side. Check this out. Which one is this? This is an RCS 17, dude. Look at that. Oh, wait, is this? Yeah, this is the brake side, right? 17. Mm -hmm. Is that the brake side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Is a brake light switch? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, I can do a little tool. Oh, yeah. 
Badass. Sweet. So again, we get all these parts through Manny at Moto Million. If you guys want to get parts from him, no, there's more. Um, make sure that you go to motomillion.com, use code CAMPEASY that directly supports us and that helps us continue to uh, get parts for these builds and allows us to do even more insane builds. So Dotto, we're even replacing the throttle housing. All of this, instead of doing throttle spacers, he has a full throttle housing with a full th Yeah, that's why I told you it's gonna be a two part episode. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Manny sent us an RC12, just kidding. <laughs> hey, what is this here? Not uh, to get off topic, but I picked up some, it's called Highland Park 12. So it's a Viking. Yeah, Viking Honor. That's really freaking single malt scotch. I Actually, buy stuff because it like the, the. I surprised Dada yeah. with this one today. The Widow Jane, age 10 year. And he, Dado likes the bitier stuff, so I, I thought he would like that. Yeah, we got buttons too. If you want to try those yeah, out, we don't have nice. to use them, but nice. we'll see. I think oh, they're super cool. It it looks like a fighter. I think for the starter housing, we should do it because that's pretty simple. I'm not sure about the other side because it can get a little confusing. Yeah, with how you it use looks it. like a fighter. I always thought these looked like fighter jets. A lot of the track guys use like these. Nintendo buttons, dude. Yeah, how cool like, is that? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, oh, the other I think that's the. Uh, oh, is that the buttons oh for the other gosh. side? Yeah. Look at this, Dotto. Look like M&M's. Yeah, how cool is that? Look oh at my those. gosh, this looks like, look. Looks like a little controller. That's what he was just literally just doing. I'm gonna beat you, Dotto. Manny's, left, right, left, Manny's right. X, 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 X. He's probably at home throwing and up And then right I got now. backups right here. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? <laughs> wow, you, so you I'm not, have the cheater controller. I'm not positive we're gonna use these buttons. But we've never done it before. People like when we do stuff we've never done, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see if we're gonna use those. There should be one more thing. So last thing I wanted to show you guys, check out these, these are the reservoirs right here. Yeah. How cool is that? Manny actually did this setup on his Street Fighter as well. That is really And I cool. saw and I was like, dude, I wanna try that out. So there's no more tubing or anything like that. These are like state of the art, brand new. That's gonna be really cool. And they're gonna connect directly onto the master You're cylinder. You're doing a lot of different master. stuff on yeah, the brand so new. Yeah. To see. People always say, do something about? different, Jared. Your builds are all the same. Donald's Meanwhile, oh god, <laughs> nobody moved. Dado's got Dado's a gun. Got a gun. <laughs> I was like, Dado was like, holy shit, there's a lot of stuff. I was like, hey, why do you think I bought you brought you a whole bottle of whiskey? Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna pour some. So that's it. That's everything we're gonna be doing. This is probably gonna oh. be a two part series or two part episode, uh, maybe three. I have no idea. We gotta figure out where all this goes. We gotta drill holes. We gotta install everything. Bleed the whole brake system. It's gonna be a lot. And this is some of the, a lot of stuff Dado's never even done before. I've never seen before so it's gonna be fun let's drink let's let's get some drinks are you gonna have what some do you, what do you think we should drink you're gonna have some whiskey with the teens huh Donna, you want some whiskey what kind of question is that Dada, okay which whiskey would you do you like, like duke bike stuff Dada? would you like me to be productive <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Duke bike stuff. Actually. Loves it so he much. He does. Guys. He does. It. Yeah. Um, I get the feeling that you really like it really, too. Really likes it. That loves you really it. like Duke bike stuff. Loves it. Do you want everything laid out? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> <Do you> want... <laughs> Look at him. He's laying all this stuff out. Look at all this stuff, dude. <laughs> Look at all this. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh yeah, this is gonna be a two-part series for sure. <laughs> All right, we need some whiskey. All right, so I actually just hopped on the call with Manny because I just wanted to go over some of the stuff and everything and verify with him. We've got over $2,000 worth of parts just for the handlebar setup on this. We've never done a handlebar setup like this before. So look at all this, dude. Yeah, so that, I mean, it's gonna be insane. So between the handlebar setup and then the brushed aluminum tank. We have a custom seat being made for us by Louis Moto. And um, all the carbon fiber parts coming. We're probably gonna paint this front headlight shroud and we're gonna paint the uh, rear shock as well. This bike is gonna be 100% custom. Awesome. Yeah. You can even remote control the bike. With, yeah. Not even being there. Exactly. You can drive it now. Now you can sit at home and ride the bike. Yeah. How cool is that? Exactly. If it's raining look, out, look forward, you still reverse. wanna ride it? There's, this is if you're horny, you just hit this button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's mix some whiskey here. Are we doing the Widow Jane that I brought over? Absolutely. Or what, did you want to try the Highland Park 12? How about you try this? Okay, let me try that. Since somebody already evaporated Jeez, some of it. Louise and Hernandez. I'm gonna... All right, can you pour this for me? Because hey, I can't... Listen, Dozer gets thirsty, so... Hey, for, for everyone that drinks with us while you watch the videos, we, got we, a, we love it. We got a... Yes. Yeah, we love Please it. Please keep sending yeah. videos and, and... It's so uh, freaking awesome. Pictures of you cheersing the TV. There it is. It. Hey. Cheers to you, Dotto, and cheers to everybody watching. Boom. All right. <laughs>
So, taking the handlebar clamp off, and then we're gonna remove the handlebar. No hey, lock tight. No lock, Geppetto was sleeping that day, huh? Let me hold that. So I think what we're gonna do, Dotto said he wants to basically pull this off, set it to the side, off to the front, and then we're gonna test fit the new Rizoma bar, and then kind of have this as a reference where everything is, because we want to try to, we try to keep stuff in the stock locations as much as we can. Um, just because, you know, Ducati has been doing this for a while, they, you know, and we like how it feels and stuff like that. Look at I'm that. I'm it'll clear the... The whole handlebar setup's gone. Look at that. And they shouldn't leak. That's one thing to check for. You don't want brake fluid leaking. We'll make sure we, we keep an eye on it, yeah. And then what, what we're actually cool gonna do is that? I have a steering wheel from a tractor. We're gonna put a tractor steering wheel? Perfect. <laughs> All right, test fitting the Rizoma bar with the new Duca bike clamp. Guys, look at the diff. I didn't think like, cause it's gray, obviously silver. You can see the other one right there. But look at the black on black. Holy shit, guys. Super nice. Look at that. The quality of these machine parts are out of this world. Yeah, like that looks so freaking badass, dude. Mm -hmm. So basically, what are you gonna put it at? Zero? Uh, Zero degrees? I'm gonna try to get it zeroed out as as much as possible then we'll sit on the bike see how it feels yeah we'll okay. clamp it down just hand tight mm -hmm. tighten it and then we're going to move this around a little bit to see what it feels okay. like and then just for shits and giggles dot is going to flip it over <laughs> oh god no look at, look at it, it it definitely looks awesome if you wanted to do a cafe racer style that's what you would do like that right there look at that look at that it would give the front end more feel <laughs> Be able to turn with shit. Yeah. Uh huh. Look at that. Yeah, you'd be hammered forward. <laughs> All right. You'd Let's be doing see. awesome powers turns everywhere. Uh huh. Twenty point turns. All right. We'll we'll put this out of stock position and then we'll go from there. First thing we're doing is removing this stupid Geppetto yellow marker. Yeah, it's from factory. Look how easy that comes off. Yeah, with sausage juice. We just juice. couldn't. We just couldn't stand looking at them anymore. So we took those four off. We're gonna put this in a stock position and take a look. So, handlebars on here. Dotto and I both can't get over how good the black on black looks. Like it's, it's incredible. So we're keeping it at zero for now, and we just wanted to kind of feel like how it is. It feels very similar. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's very similar, but. That I was saying, the way that it comes out a little bit towards you, and again, we could push it forward if we wanted to be more stock, but that's leverage wise. Look how freaking cool that is. But this feels really good. Dotto sat on it too. You like how it felt? I, I do. I like it a lot. Yeah. I, uh, it's going to be weird riding it for the first time because yeah, we're so used to it. But. but again, there's so much adjustment for the new owner if they want to change it or whatever. It's four bolts. You can push it forward, whatever you want to do. So um, for now, that's where it's gonna sit, and we're gonna start dry fitting controls. That we're gonna do. Okay, yep. Let's do it. All right, just continuing to test fit parts here. And the cool thing about this setup is uh, the start stop button buttons. Jesus, buttons. <laughs> the start stop buttons connect directly to the master cylinder, and the reason why that's cool is because your housing it basically removes an entire extra thing down there. Um, so you can have your housing a lot closer to this so that when your hands here look how close everything is If he's pinching my my hand some more, but look at that. Look how cool that looks. I don't like how this makes contact though And we can't bring it any closer mm. because of here. So that's one thing I have a gripe about this uh, I remember this being an issue before and there's something we could do. Yeah, there might be actually a lever that's different Yeah, you just throw this whole thing out <laughs> <laughs> but look how cool that is. Test fitting the other side right now. It's so freaking cool. This just, it looks so trick. So high end, my God. All right, so continuing to test fit everything. Dotto wanted to sit on it real quick. Um, if you guys were ever setting up controls and uh, levers and stuff like that, Dotto, if you put your hands up here, one of the general rules of thumb is when you're in your riding position, it should be a straight line all the way down to the controls. And the reason why that is, is it won't, you don't have to reach up or reach down too far to get to them. So it's a nice neutral position right it's there. It's like having a fatigue on like your keyboard setup. Right? Yeah, you don't want your exactly. Wrist too high, you don't want them too yep. low. And yep. You want everything. And look at that. To go with the rider triangle. So this, I don't feel awkward 
um, like squeezing the brake or the yep. clutch. And again, we're just dry, dry fitting everything. And but the dude, thing that sucks is once you set that up, mm -hmm. I, I have it set at zero degrees yeah. right now. Oh, if, you if you move adjust, this, then yeah. everything else has yeah, to be yeah, yeah. Which is cool, it's not that big of a deal. No, it's just a couple things you loosen. Yeah. yeah, and the one thing that I learned, this is from my brother doing track days and me learning stuff. So like whenever you're setting up your levers is having the lever Yep. Uh, flush with, flush this, with the bar end. And then you can see on this yep. side where this is kind of dry fitted. Look how beautiful that looks. Yep. We'll just pop these caps off and put the protector on there. I've never seen a monster with, with these buttons on them ever, let alone, I'm sure someone has done the RCS Masters, but with all these Duca bike controls and then those reservoirs that plug straight in, with no, I'd say the world first. Hands down. It has to be. One thing you didn't mention, Jared, is. All these wires oh, yeah, are yeah, gonna yeah. have to get neatly zip tied uh -huh, and then and run behind, in. and we're gonna have to unplug everything behind a headlight. Yep. All right, Papa Bear just showed up. He hasn't seen the monster lately. No. And obviously, he hasn't seen this yet because we just did it. So, what do you think of these buttons, Pops? I'm ready to play a video game. <laughs> <It looks laughs> That's awesome. what we said. It's like Nintendo, right? Yeah. But doesn't this look so nice? Dude, All this blacked is out. Sleek. I like that a lot. This we're just piece test fitting nice. everything right now. That's yeah, isn't nice. that incredible? I didn't think it was going to make such a difference going from silver to black, but doesn't it really look you know, crazy? I'm blown away by that. Uh -huh. It's just the right punch. Dad. It's just the right. So after we do the whole handlebar setup, by the way, this is over $2,000 worth of stuff just for the handlebars. We're going to strip this whole tank, Dotto, brushed, brushed aluminum tank. And then we're going to powder coat this black. I'm working with Louis Moto. They're building us a full custom seat cover for this yeah. with diamond stitching mm -hmm. in silver. And then we have a bunch of carbon fiber parts as well. I've been a big fan of what you're saying you're going to do to that tank. Mm -hmm. like, I really like that look on a bike. And you guys you guys didn't see the Exiavel in person. Remember when we did that tank on the Exiavel? I really like that. Dude, it was... Like raw steel, Exactly. Thank you. Like mm -hmm. very, you know. That's what I want. I want all raw stuff. It'll be raw carbon, the raw exhaust. It's, Jeez. Yeah. The coloration uh -huh. that is uh -huh. in there. Yep, and you spent you've spent some time on this bike, Dad. Yeah, I can't get uh -huh. over it. It's a fun bike. So. Once I got comfortable with how to quick shift. Yeah, yeah. And that that uh -huh. was like took a half hour to try to break forty years. of yeah. riding a different way, but that's exciting. Isn't that wild? That's awesome. So that's what we're up to right now. Yeah. My dad's over here looking at stuff, and he's like, "Dado, I'm not gonna touch anything." And Dado goes, "Please don't." Yeah. <laughs> Those are very carefully placed. That's Look amazing. What what are you doing over here? I'm rejetting uh, carbs that 1100 over there because there's some modifications coming mm. and we have to rejet and rebuild the carbs at the same time. So I got it all laid out how it needs to be. Here's a whole new rebuild and jetting kit, all I new just, internals. This blows my mind. <laughs> okay. Anyway, away from that, what are we doing here, Dotto? So <clears throat> this was one of the gifts that I received recently from a good friend of mine, and it's. <laughs> It's homemade moonshine with some cherries, and it's kind of been aged a little bit. And I, I told Jared, I'm like, stuff. it is, the taste is phenomenal. So we're going to do like a little little flight here, okay. and all three of us are going to have dip a little it. bit. I'll yeah. take a nip. I mean, I have glasses too, but <laughs> no, you, no, you don't want to crawl tiny, out tiny of here. Bit. You know? Let's do it. Homemade moonshine. Salute. Came at a great time. <laughs> hey, cheers. cheers, guys. This is amazing. Thank you, Jared. Ah, how good is that? Right, that wasn't bad at all. Told you. That tastes like grape juice. No, that tastes like fucking cherries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it does. does. Cherries. Oh my now, God, eat one that's of those. Amazing. So you ever made this? <laughs> oh yeah, you'd be messed up from that. All right, let's get back to work. All right, grips next. So the Domino grips comes come with these um, gray things that poke poke out, and I think they look like complete dog dick. But <laughs> there is a, a larger one where your throttle tube goes through, and then there's a smaller one. This should slide right over mm -hmm. the. Um, the bar itself. So first thing I did was I slid the factory grip off the tube. Um, the larger diameter will f slide over this. However, we're gonna slice this gray piece off so it's nice and flush with the black. We don't want any gray showing mm -hmm. between these two pieces. Um, the only thing I don't like is the, the factory one has this lip yeah. and it covers this nicely. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen is when we put this on there, this is literally going to sit right up against it. It that's is what fine. it is. But yeah. that's what we need to get the factory throttle to work. So I'm going to zip this off. We're going to do the same thing on this side here. Uh, so it's nice and clean looking. And then we'll start, um, you know, assembly? assembly on this part at least. All right, Papa Bear's out of here. I figured we could get a little 
a little sound check. Look at that thing. See it pops. Oh, yes! We thought that there was a helicopter flying over top earlier when Dotto and I were working. And then my dad pulls in. Hey, he was yelling at me about how dirty my car is. <laughs> All right, folks. The stock handlebar is officially gone. Look at that. I don't know what it weighs. How's it feel? These bar ends are probably 70 <laughs> pounds a piece. You know they do that for the vibrations, which I've, which I've never even noticed. Whenever we swap them out. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a big deal having that much solid weight at the at the edge of the bars really helps dampen some of the vibration. Yeah. Um, Jared's all about saving weight and... You know what I just realized? All we're doing is making the front end lighter. <laughs> but hey, look at that. It was your first glimpse of the new handlebars. Look Maybe at that. Maybe not because we're adding the guards. That's true. Um, it's probably going to be lighter though. Oh, and the... and the. We're taking plastic yeah, off and you're putting right. billet aluminum yeah, on. Yeah, yeah that's you true. Know, so. yeah. Plus the steering damper. Where the hell does that go? We're just gonna glue it to the gas tank. That's perfect. <laughs> well, I was hungry, so Dotto grabbed some smoked cheeses. What was this one? Is this cheddar or Swiss? Extra sharp cheddar. Extra sharp cheddar. Very, very good. Provolone was my favorite. I think this actually might be my favorite now, Dotto. That is so good. We also got some some beers. Never had this before. Tropy Cannon Citrus IPA. Phenomenal. Dotto's having some hoppy... Amber Lager from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Woo and then Jared's gonna have this before he leaves. Oh, it's pineapple no. IPA. Jared, Jared Bear's way too slammed for that. Fine. <laughs> do, do a roadie. <laughs> a roadie. So what are you working on right now? Okay, so this is left and right side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have the bracket that's yep. supposed to hold the reservoirs. Look at those things. Yeah, I know, dude. And, and even the brackets that I mm -hmm. and I were looking at, like they're badass. Machine okay. stainless, yeah. yeah. So we have the, the fitting. Yep. We have the bleeder. Mm -hmm. We have the mounting bolt yep. and then two washers. Yep. Now, nice washers. one thing I wanted to mention is the bleeders do not ever leave them dry in there because they will either um, leak air and they're also not very tight. If you look, they move. Yeah. So what I like to do is either put liquid Teflon tape or liquid Teflon or Teflon tape. Really? So I'm gonna put this on the threads and that'll seal them up really nice because when you're bleeding um, brake components, you want to make sure that everything is sealed 100%. So never knew that you want to get it on the threads, but not on any of these uh, parts down here. Mm -hmm. So I'll get it on the threads there, and I'll end up cutting this stuff off. But That's really cool. I'll get it on the threads, and then it's pretty much like rubbery. Feel that? I never knew that. Yeah. See? Yeah, it's that's like a little really rubber. Cool. And then we'll put it in here, like that. Mm. Now feel it when you, when you yeah, move it around, you, see? Oh yeah, nothing. Yeah, and then just for aesthetics, I will probably figure out how far the threads go in, tighten it down, and then get rid of the excess. And then this will be a bleeder. I also like to do the same thing on these threads, but do I like you, to do um, liquid on here. Uh -huh. And then it'll be a crush washer, and then our bolt. banjo bolt here, yep. which is still attached to the bike. And then we'll do another crush washer, and then this will get all torqued down. We'll crush the washers down. And then that's one side, and then we'll do the same thing with the other side. Oh my gosh. Tedious, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, so we were test fitting the uh, reservoirs for this. And if you notice, this one comes out at a 90 degree angle. So the, you want to grab the reservoir, Dotto, and show them just so they know what's going on. Okay. So you can see how this one sits, and you want these to sit a certain way. Look at that. Look how cool that is. No tubing, no nothing. So anyway, that's how they're supposed to sit. And I just chatted with Manny. This is a 16 RCS. We actually just need a regular RCS on this side because you can see the way that these come out are totally, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how it would be sitting off to the side. So Manny said, no, no worries. The, the, someone probably sent us the wrong one. Um, so he's going to get us the other one out. I'll send this one back. So no big deal. This is going to be a two, two parter anyway. So I, yeah, I've never, we've never even had the Corsa Corta before the RCS Corta Corta. No, if we got a 45 degree angle, I think mm -hmm. I could get, get that fitting to work how well it, it would work or if it'll leak, I don't know. Right, I've, that's... I've never done this setup ever before yeah, on a yeah. bike. But um, instead of that, Manny said, let me just yeah. send you the right stuff. Yeah, just so. to be safe. We could yep. probably get this to work, but we would rather not have to... If it was our bike, I would probably do it. But um, for someone else, I don't want them to have to deal with anything just in case something down the line leaks or anything like that. 
But the good news is we can just continue on the left hand side, which is what we're gonna do now. All right, Dotto's lubing up the nipple before we slide the um, reservoir on there. The new reservoir. Look how cool that is. I can't do it with one hand. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we slide it on there. Perfect. Dude, how crazy is that? It's kind of floppy. Well, <laughs> you dick. But look how cool that is. That's the whole setup right there. No tubing, no bullshit, look at that. I think that's really, really cool. This is like the next next level of motorcycle handle, handlebar controls, you know, with reservoirs, no tubing. I think that's brilliant, dude. That's so cool looking. All right, Dado's shooting washers across the room. Look at them. Yeah, so new wash, uh, crush washers, they're uh -huh. copper. Uh -huh. They're going on. We're gonna put, the, this is the clutch yeah. line. We lost zero clutch fluid. I'm gonna try to do the least amount of damage as possible, but that was funny. I cranked a bolt out and this one, the old crush washer, just literally shot across the room and Jared looks over like, what did you just do? But anyways, I'm gonna kind of pull this down like this. I do want to mention, when Dotto was fitting this, he had it fitted this way across here, which I, I do think looked better, but the bracket has it sitting over here on this oh, side. Oh no. What? So that's how it's supposed We're to sit. We're not close enough. Does it not reach? Oh, of course. Damn it. Geppetto was right. I blame Geppetto. Closer Always blame Geppetto, right? right that's an eight millimeter. Hold okay. this. Hooking up the, I don't even know what this is. Clutch line. <gasps> Look at the big brain on Brett. All right. Oh, wait, what's in my pocket? What's in my pocket? What's in my pocket? <gasps> It's a 12 millimeter. <laughs> Why do you have that in Because, there? <laughs> so we can tighten this down. Oh my God. See, I'm ready. Okay, so we're putting that bad boy on there. Look how cool this is. I'm so excited for this, these Nintendo buttons. So what this allows you to do is actually play Mario Kart for N64 while, while you're park. riding. <laughs> no, while you're riding, Dotto, okay? That's yeah. where you got it wrong. That's safer. <laughs> All right, so I think this is, <laughs> I think this is where we're gonna end the video. Um, we were thinking about starting up the bike and revving it with, with this thing right down here. This is literally right. how you rev the, the bike. Throttle. Boom, boom, boom. It's electronic. <laughs> so you got Nintendo buttons and a fucking throttle revving down there. Um, <laughs> anyway, ignore all of that down there. Look how cool this looks up here. And actually, that's gonna get sent back too. So it, it, it's a work in progress, but we're getting there. Yeah, so this is getting replaced. Yeah. This entire unit is this now. It's now this. Look yeah, that. that's getting plugged in. Uh, we have a couple of other things to yeah. take care of electronics-wise. This will be gone. And then this is literally what the left side is going to look, look like. Look at that. How with cool a grip, is that? With a grip on it, yeah. yeah. Dude, it's badass. I actually really, really like it. So I knew this was going to be a two-part series. Might even be a three-part. Uh, we're going to take our time, make sure everything gets done right. But look at that. Look how badass that is. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? There's like really weird things. I didn't, <laughs> don't worry, this whole seat cover is getting replaced anyway. So don't worry about the sausage juice. But yeah, that's the current state of the monster. Um, part two will be coming very, very soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna be entered to win this bike along with our V4SP limited edition, patreon.com slash customs. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.